Hi, Mike Masters from GE Aviation's Customer Training Services in Cincinnati. And in this CF6 maintenance minute, we're going to take a quick look at a fitting that lives right here uh, at the, uh, right at the fuel filter differential pressure switch. Uh, this elbow fitting right here has uh, received a, a minor engineering change here recently. There's a new part number for it. And up close here is your, uh, your fuel filter differential pressure switch. This is the elbow fitting that we're talking about right here. The change that has been made to it is the addition of this washer right here. So uh, of, of course this, uh, this fitting has always had the packing here to prevent leaks, but the problem was when we would tighten down the B-nut here to make good contact and thread into uh, the reducer fitting of the pressure switch, this packing would be sort of extruded out uh, from the pressure between just the B-nut and the, uh, the face of the reducer. So this washer here has been added to uh, put a more even pressure around that packing, uh, keep it more in a, in a more natural shape and prevent those leaks. I should also mention that if, uh, if you're receiving this fitting as a new replacement or if you've removed it to facilitate other maintenance, it's not going to come with this packing. Uh, the AMM will give you a, a part number for a tool that you could use, sort of a conical plastic kind of a thing to cover the threads of the fitting so you don't uh, damage the packing while installing it. If you don't have that tool, if you cannot locate it, uh, there's another um, maintenance minute video on installing O-rings over threaded fittings that could also be of use to you as well. Okay, so we're assuming here, we're, we're kind of coming into uh, about halfway through the procedure of reinstalling a uh, differential pressure switch here. So what we're going to do now is uh, just loosely install this tube that goes from the filter head assembly to our new elbow. And I realize due to the tightness of the area here, you're going to get a really good view of the back of my hands initially, but uh, I'll try to, try to catch different angles as we go. There we go. Just loosely, loosely installed the, uh, the B-nut here going into the filter head assembly. And for now, I'm just going to leave that tube loose. And now to prepare our fitting for installation, we're going to turn this B-nut all the way this direction until it contacts the elbow of the fitting. Now the packing may still be wet from oil from uh, installation, but in my case, I installed it several hours ago. And I do want that packing to be wet. I want to re-lubricate it with the approved lubricant. Make sure it's nice and evenly coated. Okay, now we'll install the, the new design elbow fitting into the pressure reducer of the differential pressure switch itself. And initially here, you're gonna get a, a really good view of the back of my hands. Not much I could do about it. Pretty tight space in here, as you can see. There we are, got a couple threads going. And then we're going to continue to, uh, to tighten the elbow into the switch fitting until the washer makes contact with the, uh, the face of the fitting itself. And there's a nice snug contact, but as you can see, our B-nut is gonna come in from, from the other side of the fitting. So I'm gonna back this thing off, and I'm allowed up to one full turn to get into alignment with our tube. Okay, with our tube, better position. And again, really good view of the back of my hands. I realize that, but I'm going to reach back here and start the threads of my B-nut from the tube onto the elbow fitting. And when I get that B-nut as tight as it will go by hand, now the, uh, the manual will have us apply a specified torque to that B-nut. With our B-nut tight as much as I can get it by hand anyway, we're now going to use a backup wrench, some people call it an anti-torque wrench, on the uh, fitting itself. We're gonna snug that B-nut down more than we can get it with just finger pressure. Mm, getting a little more snug. There we are, and that's nice and snug by, by just you know hand pressure. And now, of course, we're going to apply our specified torque. I'm often asked, Mike, why do you always say specified torque? Why don't you just give us the torque? Well, it's for a variety of reasons. One, 
is these videos are accessible, there we go, on YouTube, as well as a, a few other different ways. And being in the public domain like that, yeah, we, we keep uh, specific values, materials, things like that uh, out of the videos. Okay, that's pretty much it for installing the new and improved elbow fitting on the fuel filter differential pressure switch of the CF6. Hope you find it helpful. Hope you enjoyed the maintenance minute and I'll see you next time.